two main features. The first thing is a fast and seamless mode change between electrical mode and hybrid mode. The second thing is a refined shift quality, especially assisted by traction motor. So our system has an efficient gasoline engine like GDI and electric motor designed the transmission with engine clutch. And also we have a regenerative <coughs> brake system and a compact, lightweight, high energy density, high power density, lithium polymer, uh, lithium polymer battery. Our system has been enhanced from the previous generation. So downside is GDI and Z and smaller, lighter, but high power <coughs> motor, also HSG, and the six speed automatic transmission with better efficiency. The HPCU hybrid power control unit and the regenerative brake are also enhanced. And lithium-ion polymer battery has uh, increased energy and the power. Of course, all kinds of hybrid control software was enhanced for the best or better control performance. Also, high efficiency, high efficient onboard charger is already the plug in hybrid. <coughs> In detail, uh, in case of engine, uh, as in shown the table, uh, we use a downsized GDI engine, so less torque, but better fuel count. So we adapt electric water pump on the engine, and the cool the easier, and so on. So total 6.5% of fuel efficiency enhancement on engine. <coughs> Motor, I always said to you, Smaller, lighter, but more power. In traction motor, also in HST. And in case of transmission, uh, previous generation, uh, we use mechanical tie oil pump and electric tie oil pump, both. But the new solar hybrid removed the mechanical tie oil pump, so we have more improvement on system efficiency. And uh, let's talk about battery. The compared to computer's battery, a uh, family hybrid, we have more energy and more power, more efficiency, also compared to the previous generation. So we can, uh, with that kind of improvement, we can battery behind it, the tire well. And the HPCU, hybrid power control unit, uh, we have a more power density with lightweight. And uh, in case of a uh, regenerative brake, we capture 10% more energy at regenerative braking. We proceed at uh, two uh, points. First thing is the initial pressure. So we enhance the initial pressure characteristic. And second thing, there is a radial pressure. So we reduce the, reduce the radial pressure. So we get 10% more capture energy. And uh, let's talk about uh, driver's food. <laughs> so, as you know, gas mileage is strongly depends on driver's style. Driving style, tough, mild, or the normal like that. So, there is some big gap on fuel economy between mild driver and tough driver, you know. So, my brother, uh, of course, uh, is uh, <coughs> our customer, and the customer, so always complain to me uh, there's such a big fluctuation between him and his wife. So whenever I asked uh, his driving style, he said, me? Oh, I know, I, I'm not a mild driver, but I'm not a tough driver, just I'm normal, normal driver like you. What is it to me? So, um, believe me, my brother is a typical tough driver. So, <laughs> so we have two kinds of functionality on use of the hybrid for such a situation. The first thing is uh, to indicate the driver's style by three typical style, economical, I mean mild, and normal style, and aggressive style. And then each number shows uh, the accumulated percentage of your driving style. And the highlight <coughs> number by two blue lines means uh, current, your current driving style. So you can have a experience on your test drive. And the second thing is uh, adaptive control. So based on the detection of driving style, 
we change the whole control algorithm according to the uh, drug, uh, drug type. So uh, the graph shows that uh, how, how much improvement on the off-model pure economy. So compared to computer can be hybrid and compared to previous generation, we reduce the gap between off-mode gas mileage and on-mode gas mileage and also reduce the fluctuation between mild driver and top driver. So you can check the numbers. And let's check, uh, talk about another guy from uh, US Sonata Hybrid. So a few years ago, uh, I had an interview with uh, a winner of a fuel economy contest in Korea. So I asked him the key to the best fuel economy with the um, expectation of great secret. But his answer was very simple. Softly drive and then actively use costing. But very simple. So that was a motivation for this kind of functionality. So uh, when you drive your car, do you know exactly when you have to release your gas pedal for perfect costing? No? Don't worry, if you know this, you are not human. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that hybrid will guide, uh, will help you support such a kind of perfect costing. So just follow the guy. Yeah, so if you follow the guy, you can increase your gas mileage by up to 3%. The zero means you will not follow the guy. So the non minus, just zero. And uh, some complex thing, I don't like this slide, but anyway, I have to explain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the transition time between electric vehicle and the hybrid vehicle. So that kind of transition time is strongly depends on engine clutch control. So we have a better consistency on engagement time in spite of various powertrain conditions. And also, we reduce engagement time by 20%. It means that transition time is significantly reduced. And let's talk about uh, drive mode select. We offer three kinds of drive mode. So, echo mode for efficient driving, and normal mode for balanced driving, and sport mode for dynamic driving. Compared to the competitors offer, so we offer three kinds of drive mode, especially sports, and company offer two, and the uh, accord or future high with nothing. And also, we have, uh, we have manual shift mode for your private, your own driving style. And uh, this function, um, hybrid mode select, is uh, um, available in only plug-in hybrid, not hybrid. And we have three kinds of mode, electric vehicle mode, and hybrid mode, and charge mode. EV mode is a, uh, you can drive your plug-in hybrid as an electric vehicle. So we recommend for city driving. And the hybrid mode is, you will turn on the engine, so hybrid mode. And then battery charge mode is also turn on the engine. The difference between hybrid mode and the charge mode is a SOC maintain. So in case of hybrid mode, so the controller maintains some value, 60 or 50, like that. But in case of a charging mode, controller fully charge the battery. Okay. So highway drive, uh, assuming the highway driving, engine is very efficient compared to city driving. So we recommend hybrid mode on uh, highway driving. And also, if you have some plan to use your plug-in, especially future user as an electric vehicle, so charge mode is very useful for future use. And so there's some uh, comparison set between hybrid, so we use downsize GDI and Z, and uh, horsepower is 154, and motor power is uh, 51, so total net power is 193. And also we get uh, EPA pure economy 42 combined. And uh, as you know, uh, motor and the uh, engine has different peak point of power and torque. So this graph shows that the power is 193 and also torque. And this is a comparison of a plug-in hybrid. So we use the same engine, 2.0 GDI engine, and but different motor. 
the same shape, but different power, 50 kilowatt, compared to hybrid 38 kilowatt. And then uh, system net power is 202. And then uh, we achieved class leading all electric range 24 miles. And also we got fuel economy, CD mode 93 <coughs> and the CS mode 40. Let's talk about the battery, especially for plug-in hybrid. So uh, we have energy 9.8 kilowatt compared to 7.6 or 6.7 the competitors energy density uh, energy. So we have great energy and also great energy density. So we can arrange the, the battery in the trunk and uh, tie well. So almost the same to the hybrid, previous version of hybrid. But it's plug-in. And uh, already I said to you, 9.8 kilowatt, big capacity of a battery, but fully charged is uh, just under three hours, so in case of level two charge. Okay, mm, in summary, we don't focus on the fuel economy only, and we don't focus on the powerful front to drive. Just our developing goal is perfect balance between fuel economy and the point to drive. Thank you.